Hi there, Skipper Andy here, and I'm just going to give you a little chat about what we do when we take a log. We have to do this regularly on the boat for a few reasons. Partially it's so that we can record our position and what the boat's doing, anything that we see, what's going on, and also for a safety perspective so that if something goes wrong we can easily say what's happened and where we're going and what we're doing about it. So we're just going to go down below and have a look at the things we need in order to do this because this is something you're going to have to do as crew. Okay, so most of what we need to know is all up here on our instruments. And firstly what we've got is our speed over here so we can record that. Um, the next thing we've got is our wind um, which is saying about Eight, and eight, eight knots or so coming from the southwest. And then the last thing that we need to know is how far we've traveled. And that is over here. This one says trip. So this is 287 miles since we started our trip here. And that means we can tell how far we've been in the last period. Okay, so the other thing we need to know, of course, is where we are, our position. Now, very often it's easy to say we're near a specific point, like we're in East Cows Marina or just outside Yarmouth. But currently we're in the middle of the Irish Sea and there really isn't anything apart from a seagull to base ourselves around. Um, so we're gonna have to use latitude and longitude. On your boat, there'll always be a log book. It might be like this, might they look many different ways and it lives always at the chart table. This one, our boat is Romtiskit. And if you open it up and get to the last page, the skipper will have started off your voyage somewhere and he'll have the number of people on board um, and then the log carries on over here. So what we do is we grab a pen, we note down the time, 12.25, and we'll go for this position and we grab our position from the GPS which is also up on our radio. And this at the moment says we're 51 degrees, 12 minutes, decimal 80 north and 8 degrees, 0 03 minutes, decimal 01 west. Um, and we can actually plot that on the chart like you were shown in another video at another time. The other bits we've got, we want our course, which we got off the compass, which is 320 degrees. Our speed was down to about 4.8, I think. 8. Our log said 287 nautical miles. The wind was about 8 knots. In um, our terms, that were that's about a force, force 2, force 2 to 3, and it's coming from the southwest, so we call 2 to 3 on the Beaufort scale. And there's one more thing that we tend to put in here um, most of the time, and that is what the pressure is, and we get that from our barometer, which is over there. Okay, and our barometer says 1,018, and the reason we like to have our barometer is if there's big, quick pressure changes, it gives us a really good indication that there is strong wind coming. So it gives us a bit of a warning. Um, currently, that's no change since the last one, so we're probably pretty stable at the moment. So just the last few bits to add to your log is anything interesting, and the only thing interesting we've got at the moment is the Kinsale gas stations have just come into view just to keep track of what's going on with fuel and battery i always put over here whether my engine is on or off and the times um, and if we've not got the engine on i want to know what my battery readings are to check that i have power over there so all that remains then for your log is just to take that position and plot it onto your chart um, and that is another video